Hey everyone, Rissy here. It's been a while since I have made a video, mainly because I went to Yellowstone and I caught something there. And um, basically, I've been kind of going through an infection. I think it's turned into a sinus infection, and it's been really hard on me to kind of do anything. Um, I don't know you, if you guys have any experiences with infections on Humira, but they're way worse than normal. Um, and it's taken me three, four weeks to get even slightly okay enough to, you know, make a video. But I thought I'd make a video today because it is shot day for me. So I actually haven't done a video of me giving myself a shot at home. So here's the thing, I psych myself out so much every time. It seems like each time it's, it's worse. Um, not the pain or anything, but how much I psych myself out. Like I have to sit here and think about it for a long time. And I'll just like hold the shot in my hand against my skin and just freaks me out so I'm gonna do one really quick I'm not gonna show you the actual like thing on my leg I guess I could but who wants to see my leg there's nothing special to it so basically I'm rolling up my my pants um, and yeah my legs are super bruised I tend to walk into things I don't know why I'm like super clumsy so First, I have my, um, okay, I can get everything. I have my alcohol swab, my band-aid, and I have my shot right here, and I have my sharps container with all the ones I've used in the past. Um, and I have my support dog down here. She's just watching and waiting for me to drop something so she can take it away. So, um, I guess I could, um, so, ooh, that's not going to work. Okay, so here is on my leg. So first, I am going to take the alcohol swab and take I'm gonna do it and we actually switch off every other leg each time so this week I'm on my left leg so I'm gonna do this and then leave that there and let it dry and while I let it dry I'm gonna open this up so I open the packet up Dakota you're making this hard and then I take it out and it's numbered one two I'm gonna make sure that the liquid is in there. You can see it, it's all clear. Yay! So here's the part that I sit here and I kind of wait and get freaked out and psyched about each time. So I get my skin. Dakota, you're making this hard. I get my skin um, pinched up. Press it down, and there's this little white thing that you have to like make sure that it's pressed in all the way. And then here is the part I just kind of sit here for way too long because I'm freaked out that it's gonna hurt. Because I know it's gonna hurt, but yeah, whatever. Okay, ready? One, two. Ah, I can't do it. Okay, one, two, three. Hold it. One, two. Woo! Ouch! And now you can see that it has yellow, so it came out. Oh, Ooh, it hurt. Gosh. Every time you can see there's like a little blood there, and now it's all tender. <laughs> but yay, so I'm going to put a band-aid on, but yay, I did it. Now I won't have to do it again for another two weeks. Well, week after next. But 
I actually, sadly, I actually kind of look forward to it because the couple days before my shot, I end up feeling kind of horrible. Like my symptoms come back and stuff. So I am looking forward to the day of the shot. Not the actual shot. Oh man, it's bleeding more than normal. Um, gosh, putting on the band-aid kind of stinks. Eee! Tinder! Yay! So now it's over with. Yay! <laughs> but, um, so I don't know if you got, this is, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if this is a problem for you guys, but, like, the weekend before my shots do, so I take my shot every other Tuesday, but, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday before, I just have, like, a mini flare-up every single time, and I just get super tired, um, so yeah, in that aspect, I really look forward to my shot day because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to start feeling well again. And But yeah, so that's how I do it at home. I psych myself out. <laughs> uh, but then eventually I just get it done. Um, yeah, I, oh yeah, into the sharps container, even though the needle is like protected from the thing, it's still good to be in the sharp container so no one can get into it. And I am done. I'll probably do a video about an update on my health in general in a second. So I hope you guys are doing well. And um, yeah, so this is how I do my shots at home with the automatic injector. I psych myself out a lot. Yay! I'll see you guys later. Bye!